in this episode. With the power of friendship, they just became way too powerful. There's no way that antagonist would have been defeated so easily. I begin a new series. They've all been betting against them for far too long. There's no way to recover from an attack like this. I will cover. Billion dollar hedge funds just went completely belly up because of the literal power of friendship that the village hidden in the subreddit managed to deploy. Anime moments in real life. Some things in real life are boring. In fact, that's probably most things in real life, which is why fiction exists. Fiction is a place that we can experience things that, well, normally don't happen in real life. But let me tell you something else about real life. When something so outrageous and bombastic actually happens in real life, it feels oh, amazing. Shit. It's like, since it's real, our expectations were low and it just blows us away. In this series that I am starting with this episode and I will continue presuming the fact that you leave a like on this video, I wanna talk about the anime moments of real life. Real life things that happen that feel like a goddamn anime. It's a hilarious premise and I hope you enjoy. Feel free to make sure you're subscribed because YouTube tends to unsubscribe people. Well, let's just jump right into it. Allow me to introduce you to a place of dreams where childhoods can be free and flourish. Where people can grow up happy with smiles on their faces. Where people could be sold Money. used video games for half the price you. So you could convince your parents to buy you two video games instead of one. GameStop. It was a place of legend, myth, and it used to be called EB Games in some places. I still remember that. Coffee that. Haha, <laughs> I don't know if that's just a Canada thing. But anyway, there was this one mall that had a GameStop and an EB Games in it. And it confused the hell out of me as a kid. Anyway, not the point. The point is, in this beautiful land of GameStop, where they sold games to you for crazy prices like they tend to do, children grew up in a society like today where parents would rather get high than actually take care of their children. And as a default babysitter, they just give them a Game Boy. GameStop raised so many in the generation. And like every good shonen protagonist, the caretaker had to eventually die. Because you don't have a good anime without the parents dying, okay? So this is a very important plot point in, in the first arc of this story. And as GameStop flourished, and as an entire generation of children grew up on the games from GameStop, suckling at the bosom of the Nintendo DS, playing catch, not with their real dad, but with the Wii Sports guy. Because let's be honest, your real dad was probably smoking crack or didn't exist at all. No offense to you. Just like getting my next fill on ketamine when I needed it, I was always able to go back to GameStop to buy another trash game that I play for like two hours and then just go back to Pokemon instead of Scribble Knots. GameStop was always there for us at a time of darkness, and it all changed when the Fire Nation attacked. The proverbial Fire Nation in this scenario being the internet. Because you see, as we move further and further into this utopia of playing video games online for free or downloading games or getting a Switch that could just get apps, we no longer need physical copies. We no longer needed GameStop. The parents that we never had. Hashtag depression gang. Let's go, depression gang. Subscribe if you want to join depression gang. Hell yeah. <laughs> and as time went on, GameStop fell out of favor with the masses. Why would you go to GameStop if you could just download a game? Why would you pay so much money if you get one for free? Why do we need GameStop more? This led to GameStop slowly dying and becoming a thing of the past. Just like your dad when he went to get milk that one time. And especially as the coronavirus attacked our nation, well, our planet, it became even worse. Because GameStop, despite being an essential business in our hearts, wasn't an essential business in our boners and therefore can no longer remain open. GameStop was standing on its last leg and that is when the literal antagonists of the planet, evil billionaires, decided <laughs> GameStop, at long last, your defenses have been weakened to the point of no return. Not only are we moving into a future utopia where your services are no longer required, 
But we can have our children watch Coco Melon instead of using your video games for our money. Yes, these are the same billionaire parents that would not buy a $40 Pokemon game for their kids, okay? Let me just take that time to remind you. And as they look down their very crooked nose at the GameStop Corporation, they say, you fool, I will short your entire stock. Which for those of you who don't understand evil mastermind lingo, that means they're basically betting against GameStop. And as GameStop's stock plummets, they make money since they are betting against it. That's what it means. So aside from the fact that they're all hoping for it to fail and advising people not to invest in it, obviously, they're literally betting against it and getting other people to bet against it to the point that GameStop's failure was inevitable. It all worked exactly according to the anime villain's 4,800 IQ imposter among us strategy. Things were going swimmingly for them. Their money was increasing. Their power was increasing. And GameStop had nothing to fight back with. There was no way GameStop can integrate into modern day utopia. GameStop became like another blockbuster. Uh, who even remembers blockbuster? I do, but does that matter? No! So as GameStop clutches at its throat for air without even being able to breathe, and as the masses, the people that GameStop has raised, turns a blind eye towards it, the village hidden in the stonks released its ultimate technique, and GameStop was falling drastic. The GameStop stock was nearly at an all-time low. The stock's price went all the way down to two dollars and 57 cents per stock i cry it's literally almost the end for gamestop and there's nothing gamestop can do to claw its way out of oblivion that is if not for our protagonist because as socrates once said the internet taketh away but the internet also giveth just because the internet the protagonist of this story turned a blind eye to gamestop now giving children the ability to get entertainment without going to physical stores the internet has something else that the villains will never understand. You see, the villain needs to get real talk no jutsu big time. He needs one of those anime protagonist speeches. You may be at the tip top of the mountain, but you're at the top of the mountain alone. And without friends by our side, I don't see how anyone will be able to stand there. And I know that sounds cringe and it's like, bro, get a life. But introducing Reddit. Reddit is the overpowered side character that only shows up every few arcs to wreak havoc on Zawarudo and then disappears because if he'd be around for the entire story, none of the other characters would shine at all. Like, it would be annoying that every single fight that happens, Reddit just steps in and slaps its booty cheeks. So, Reddit is that overpowered character that only shows up every, like, two arcs for, like, one sort of irrelevant fight, just to remind you of how broken it is. Yeah. Introducing Reddit and this subreddit r slash Wall Street Bets. These gamers looked down upon by society for far too long have assembled at millions of numbers on this subreddit. And they all crackle their fingers together and are like, we can artificially inflate GameStop's stonk. Nay, not its stock. It's stonk! <laughs> By all just buying GameStop. And by buying GameStop, all the people that bet against GameStop will unfortunately have to crumble. Let's see if we can get GameStop a little bit higher. And that is when the power of friendship comes into play. All of a sudden, you have a million people on the subreddit r slash Wall Street Bets buying GameStop and shooting it up from $2.57 to $150 in the first day. An increase of this magnitude has been unprecedented in the history of the stock market. And people on Wall Street were losing their minds. All of a sudden, they decided we have to deploy some crafty techniques. There are many of them, but we are still more powerful and they don't deserve the wealth. You see, the wealth only belongs to the wealthy. And if that's not the most evil antagonist thing you've ever heard, I don't know what it is. <laughs> they literally don't need more money. Like, dude, you have your private jet and six cars. Why do you need more money? Anyway, not the point. You have super villains showing up on news shows talking about how it's unfair that gamers are trolling Wall Street. How could they do something? like that. So then they decide to deploy a heinous technique known as bribery. For those of you that are unaware, another player in this game all along was Robin Hood. Robin Hood has been a third party, an intermediary, where you can basically ask Robin Hood to please buy certain stock. It's an app that's literally marketed towards people who aren't wealthy that could still become wealthy through the stock market. It's called Robin Hood. And as we know, Robin Hood's logo, steal from the rich and give to the poor. So Robin Hood is a very important player in this game. It's a free app that anyone could literally 
used, no problem. And all the gamers on Reddit used Robinhood. But unfortunately, even a third party company, if it gets enough money pumped through its vein, literally getting skull fricked by the antagonist, teaching us the power of money and the power of greed, and how even someone set up with good morals and amazing attributes can be completely blind to reality and just accepting cash hand over fist. And Robinhood stopped offering trading with GameStop, and Robinhood was the primary platform used by the gamers. They stopped trading to GameStop? What? Dude, all the billionaire evil villain guys that are talking, I, as you see, it is in fact market manipulation that everyone is buying this stock. No, every time you recommend a stock with your vast knowledge and prowess, you expect people to buy that stock and boost it. That's the same exact thing as what they're doing, just on a much larger scale because they have the power of friendship and they're not sitting alone, divorced in a massive mansion with 16 butlers, okay? This, this is market manipulation. The character that was like on the side the whole time, just kind of watching and doing nothing, Robin Hood. Now that Robin Hood's not allowing people to buy GameStop, they are literally stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. An absolute flip on what their motto was goes to show that even the silent players in this game can easily be turned to the forces of darkness for like, you know, probably millions of dollars. <laughs> and with that happening, the combined efforts of everyone starts to wane. Even with the power of friendship and the million people on that subreddit, the stock drops back down from $150 to $75, and things are looking bleak for the future of game stonk. Stonks. But then, like any good meme, the internet gets involved. This is when the reinforcements come from the past. You know how in every single anime, like you have an arc where the main character's group fights a different group and then explains to the other group why they don't need to be evil and stuff. And then they go their separate ways. And when times look dire for the main character's group, I don't know, the freaking sand ninja from Naruto or like all those guys from Fairy Tale and every single arc, they come to save them. They come back and they're like, oh, we won't forget what you've done for us. You see, Reddit has had many battles with many other platforms. On the overall internet, Reddit and Instagram have been in meme wars where Instagram was stealing Reddit memes and Reddit memes were stealing Instagram memes. They fought each other. They've had enemies. They've had casualties on both sides. Reddit finally posts a meme about how they defeated Instagram, but that meme that they posted had the Instagram watermark proving it was from Instagram. These meme wars have been known to go on for far too long with stealing memes, with battles where no one could trust one another, where you were either on Reddit's side or Instagram side, but eventually they realize that the meme is more powerful than either of them separately, and they've put their swords down and gone their separate ways. It looked like these two old foes would never meet again, but in a time of need, when Instagram was battling and losing against the evil corporations that are funding Robin Hood to stop them from trading, all of a sudden old enemies from the past come back and unite. We got your banks. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Gamers from all around the internet come together to fight a much more powerful foe. They've all been in battles in the past. You have YouTubers that make content just based on subreddits and subreddits that are upset that YouTubers are farming them for content. You have YouTubers upset that someone else will just post their little skit on a subreddit and that will go viral on Reddit even if it didn't go viral on YouTube. These unlikely allies that have been foes in the past unite to fight a greater evil. And with the power of friendship, all of these previous foes, all the enemies in the previous arcs of this anime along the way have joined together in this final saga, this epic battle, and the internet comes together to invest in Game Stonk, where Operation Game Stonk changes the game and GameStop stock rises, not to the former glory of $150, but it rises to a grand height of $450. Such an insane, crazy markup from the original $2.57 where it started by. And all of the hedge fund guys realize that things have to change. You see, the only way to counter a stock that you shorted once it starts going up is if you invest in the stock. Because if you invest in the stock, if it goes up, your investment in the stock goes up, even though the shorting, the betting against it goes down. So you can sort of mitigate your losses. So what do all the hedge funds need to do now to mitigate these losses? They have no choice but to invest in Game Stock, pushing it further up with a $450 juggernaut stock. Game Stock, a completely currently irrelevant company that does not work in the modern landscape of gaming or society, even during the midst of the coronavirus that kills non-essential businesses. GameStop 
Stonk still stands proud. We remember our past. We remember our childhood. We remember suckling at the bosom of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, even though I think that series was canceled. We remember buying that secondhand Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We remember buying really trash games that we sold back for like a quarter of the price to GameStop just so that we could like have a chance buying something else because like, oh God, there was some real trash back then. But we remember all those times and we will not stand away from the one that raised us. Gamers have finally united to take on the big boys. Currently at the time of recording this video, GameStop doc is in the $50 range. A lot of people lost money. A lot of people made money. But even more importantly, to quote the Joker, one of the greatest main characters from any story of all time. Yes, the Joker is the main character of Batman. Batman is the antagonist and you can't tell me otherwise. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message. And the message was sent. Don't mess with the little guys. Don't mess with the power of the internet because together we will stand strong even if in the face of evil it looks like any of us as individuals can fail. The antagonists will rear their ugly heads again. We will have future battles but showing that something like the stock market, something that's for so long has been reserved for the higher class, it could be so easily manipulated with the power of friendship and with a good meme. Anything is possible. The back and forth battles between these two will be remembered for generations, especially when the internet decides to move on to bigger and better things. Revealing our double agents in the enemy ranks like Elon Musk and cryptocurrency literally being a threat to government's existence. You never know what'll happen next time because in this anime there are no spoilers. This is the story of real life where some things can be even crazier here than they can in fiction. This was so much fun to make and I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did and remember to tune in next time for another episode of Anime Moments of Real Life and remember to stay weird fam.